We did pose a question to our Twitter X community, to our. Do we post it to YouTube? Maybe I don't know. We have so many little little posts, little, little posts to do, and our Instagrams. But the question was, what's the best skate shoe of all time? All time. And a lot of people responded to it. There's a lot of comments in that one. Yeah, sure. I think everybody. I don't know if we could get actually get to the bottom of what is the best the best skate shoe of all time. It is very personal. Shoes. It's also related to the time that you grew up skating too, right? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. A lot of people are going to be saying the Airwalks and TS. Uh, then it's S, and you know a lot of stuff, man. Um, I'll just start this off for me. I never had a skate shoe per se that I really, really loved and that like changed my life. You know, mm-hmm. in skateboarding, mm-hmm. I always was kind of like early days. I would go get the two for one British Knights. Oh, wow. Twenty dollar British Knights Get them. at the Payless or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, they were really good for skating, you for know. Sure. And then you know we moved along to I don't even know at Chucka Boots. I was a big mm-hmm. Chucka. I was Eric Costin fan, and he wore Chuckas yeah. a lot. And then so it was kind of based on like what my favorite skaters were wearing at the time. Right. Were That's you kind into of what... shoes in any way before any of that? No. Not like basketball really. or like like oh those eh. are like. No, no, not, okay. not very really a shoe guy. Yeah. No, I've always been a shoe guy in that sense where you know, I, I would wear like Diodoras, like I, I just oh. like you know shoes that were kind of like they they didn't stand out, they didn't really have a big name, but they were known. Your LA gears. Right? I did have LA gears, and I traded those for Jordans. Like, oh my God, <laughs> my Jordans for LA gears, but it was all right. I, you know, it was a one time deal, and I did it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've always loved Jordans and stuff like that. But then getting into skate shoes. Um, Nothing really stood out to the point where right now I have like this is my all time favorite shoe, but um, you guys you kind of skated anything back then, right? Totally, I just whatever was given to me, I would be skating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at the same know? time too, they were sending like boxes of like like Converse One Stars. I was just gonna say to that like, the Converse One to the, girls, the, yeah, those One Stars were so good. I remember having a few pair of those that definitely you know um, had a good time skating in those mm-hmm. and got some clips and really like, yeah. you know, got was stoked on them. But half cabs is definitely up there as well. And then um, Don Brown hooking me up early on with those wraps. The Edney's wraps were definitely a strong, a strong shoe for me as well. Right. I, I trip. That's awesome. I, I always trip out between you two and myself of that. You guys didn't really seem like when you, before you were sponsored, like what shoes you said, you, you British Knights and all these things. What shoes did you buy? Before, before, like, you got shit. Sh- I mean, I, sh- look, I, my mom would buy me some shoes from Payless, and she, I'd probably rip those up in like two days, and she'd be like, "I'm not getting you no more shoes. Like, what is this?" And right. I'm like, "Dude." Yeah. So other than that, that's dude, why I the can't two for twenties came in handy. Yeah, yeah, like I can't remember. I, I probably had some chucka boots, but I think yeah, initially, I, I'd ride my shoes until they were just like talking. Yeah, and they and weren't. They wouldn't. Uh, they wouldn't. They wouldn't it, skaters weren't like that back then. They weren't like, "Oh, these are these shoes." They weren't marketing no. right like that, right? No. It was just like random. Whatever yeah. was available, you would just skate. Well, so I might have had they... some Vision Streetwears maybe mm-hmm. once, and then I had um, some Airwalk Saris. So yeah, I did buy some shoes, but it was, dude, I was trading for shoes too. Dude, oh, okay. I didn't, yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't, I remember <clears throat> skating in Chuckas. There's there's a footage of me skating in Saddle 23s. I don't even remember having a pair of those. I don't know how I got them. I don't remember these. I've That's got so like much. memory <laughs> problems, dude, because I don't remember <laughs> buying any of these shoes. Right. I don't remember buying Chucka boots. What about like were they Etnies or S? Do you even remember? You probably don't remember. The the twenty threes. They started off as Etnies and then he. I don't remember, dude. Uh, I don't know. I'll show you the footage. You could probably you know. I would. Um, I would love to see the footage. To be honest, I don't know. It's at my house. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I, they're not. It's not online. It's just it was oh, a Tim okay. Dowling footage. I did a stream at my house one day and I played all my old footage. Oh okay. You should have okay. tuned in. It was fabulous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that, fabulous. But then once you get like once I got sponsored by DVS. Right. I was on DVS forever, and then I never really had a f- favorite skate shoe. I would skate all the shoes on there as yeah. well. You know, there were yeah. yeah. I guess you guys were in the middle of when skate shoes were really born. Mm-hmm. You guys were already riding for them at that point. You're you, right. You were getting free stuff as it started. So I didn't get to really go get, go check out other shoes and see. I'd see them from afar and be like, "Damn, those look dope." But you were at that point like, "Oh, cool! I'll take those." Converse, that's cool. It means that's cool. Well, yeah. once you once yeah. you're affiliated with the company, you have to skate those shoes. Yeah. So you have to yeah. find shoes that are that are good. Yeah. Whether you find that one that's your forever pair, which 
is dangerous because those two companies, you'll find your forever pair and then they'll discontinue them or something, True. you know? And then you go, oh, God, I got to find a whole new pair of shoes. But I have my skate. chill shoes that I would chill with after. Like, I would skate. I have my yeah. skate shoes and then I have my, you know, shoes that, you know, I'd be chilling in. And you, you can't really do, well, I can't say you can't do that these days. But, like, say, for instance, like, if you skate for Nike, right, and your your chilling shoes are going to be Nikes. You know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, you're like so You're lucky. so big chilling. Yeah, you you're know like, I mean? all right, skate shoes and I got my chillers. Yeah. Like, super, yeah. But if you're like a dude that skates for Etnies, yeah. you know, or DC, you can't really go put on some some Nikes or some Jordans that you really fuck oh, with. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, that's... like the, you know, the more um, uh, not skate type shoe. Yeah, you know no, what I'm saying? chiller type yeah, shoes. Yeah. yeah, no, that's, yeah, I just... I mean, I I love S's, obviously. Like, I grew up... Uh, I, what I was going to get to is that you guys never grew up with watching skate shoe skate teams. Right. There wasn't that, right? Airwalk had a couple people, right? But there wasn't... Mark Vans did a little bit. I wasn't bit, paying attention to but the no sketch, one, yeah. yeah. But then when I was a kid, the big thing was the shoe brands. They were yeah. the big dogs. For sure. Right? I mean, obviously, Girl and then Alien were like the big board brands. Mm -hmm. S and DC, they were the biggest. Big time. Huge. Huge. Especially from the core like aspect, all day. Yeah, and I think those guys, what they did though, I think they just took inspiration from like, you know, basketball, like Nikes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. They definitely took that like. Oh, big time. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Sal, Barbie, like definitely took inspiration. Costin. Oh yeah. To, yeah. From Jordans and all these Bro. things. So, by the way, here, li <clears throat> Kelly, this is the line right here. Oh, nice. Check this out. Look at these. These oh, are twenty threes, wow. bro. It might be hard to see on this, actually. Yeah. Oh, you see that twenty? You see that? Mm -hmm. This is. I think Tim Dowling filmed this, man. This never. This was just. Damn, so hard. dude, that's crazy to see like that. The spot. I mean, the courthouse that old. So you don't know, you can't tell what that is. I right? remember that graphic you had too. Sure. It looked like I mean they're always I had you to see like right here. What it like the ice cream? They look like the Etnies. Yeah, they do look like the Etnies. I think the S's were a little more like I can't even know how to explain it. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I do not remember having a pair of these. I don't remember. I don't know how I got them. You felt fresh that day though. You got the yeah. Look line. at this man. Look, of course. Boom. Nobody skated that little circle I too much. I, I skated never, it. Oh, Did that's you? after. My, my bad, my bad. That's after. I didn't realize. I thought that was a fountain for some weird reason. No, no, no. That's that was a ledge. The over. other fountain. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. That was yeah. cool, man. I, you want to we watch more? Oh, no. Uh, no. Maybe later. <laughs> maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> after this. After okay, this. okay. Uh, I think for my generation, there is like everyone has their, they were talked about. Right. That was huge. The marketing, because they had skate teams. Yeah. So you had Costin doing all the shit. Uh, you had Kalis and all those guys over at DC. Uh, I would, well, yeah, obviously you have the half cab. I would say people have talked about the half cab the longest. Yeah. Well, it's been around the longest. It's been around the longest. And uh, I would say technical wise, I would say the Excel is probably the most like, I don't, I don't know how to. Well-rounded. Like, Well-rounded. That's, yeah. that's why, to be honest, I'm, uh, I got my first sample yesterday of the Excel. Like we're, I'm trying to build it back again with my friend Michael at S. Like to build it the exact same way it was when we used to skate it because they mm -hmm. switched the way it made, they made it. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's a lot of people. I saw a lot of comments with the S yeah, Excel. Excel. Like that seems to be one of the damn near popular ones. Mm -hmm. That was uh, it was crazy back then. It was it was supposed. To, I mean, it seemed like it was really thin. Like, but it, it was wasn't. Like, it wasn't. You no, know, right. but back then it was like, dude, these are thin. Right. But now you're like, oh, this is like huge. Right. Um, so when they remade it, did they make it thinner? Than it they, was they, they they switched the factories and they made it puffier mm. to to actually. It was a long story, but DBS was one brand that actually did this. They they started making puffy ass shoes. That's how they do now. And they were going in the pack sun and all, and they were slinging them. Mm -hmm. And I think other companies took suit. And making those, I mean, we already made the puffy shoes, but we made it puffier. Yeah, there's yeah. always you know, one for sure. kind of that runs with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. But I, I think the one, I think one of the most iconic skate shoes is the Costin, the first one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That is the most iconic, had in moment. my opinion. It definitely had a moment because it stands out too. Like you look at to it? this day. Yeah, it's yeah. generational too. Right, yeah. you have to be in that generation to. 
to the blue and gum bro blue and gum black and gum white and gum the white and blue ones no blue, the yeah, cr- yeah. cream and blue whatever the fuck oh like the clear soul ones or no 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 oh. no they it was like blue and white i think yeah i, don't, I know what those, you're talking about those are super clean yeah, white yeah, yeah, blue yeah, and a little yeah. yellow in it maybe too super cool. yeah, uh, p- possibly yeah. like the guy shoes like yeah, the guy exactly. action shoes yeah. the same color way this, it was just yeah, a right little here. bit this is a little bit of yellow that yes. one, that's the crystal bottom. Yeah, that's yeah. I never, I don't, I never liked crystal bottom shoes. I like no. that shit. I never I saw never, those out in the wild before. I always, I saw that. I was always like, where the hell is that footage at, too? Mm. Uh, but yeah, that shoe. I don't know. For me, that's the most iconic skate shoe. I, for I, me, I could agree on that. Okay. If I had to pick one skate shoe out of everything, the sad part is, is I never even skated in those shoes. Really? Mm. Yeah. I just, they are amazing looking shoes, bro. Yeah, Can we really find a different is. colorway, JC, too? Like maybe the blue and, because uh, it really shows the panels. The when, you have a, when you have a different well. color. SXL, the 23s are insane. I had, when I was a kid, I had, I surprisingly didn't have any really Excels until I was in high school. But when I was a kid, I had Sal 23s and Costin ones mm-hmm. over and over and over. And Haley's. And a ton of Heelys. Have you yeah. seen my commercial? Dog? That shit was tight. Oh, you did. Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. <laughs> you, you keep that. You keep okay, that. Yeah. Uh, bro, Groom's music, uh, the f- first Mark Johnson. Good one. Oh, my yeah. God. With the M on the side. They re- uh, reissued that, too. I know. Um, I never I was really into that. With the big M oh, on the side. Oh, there mm-hmm. No. Yeah, it's funny because you guys were like literally like those are like your peers and your you know what I mean like and you're like all oh, right I ride for this company I can't I don't know. I'm just skating these shoes not that I wouldn't admire it, if I it, it just a big M on the side it just didn't do it for me really no, no. oh I loved it man mm-hmm. it was so I never skated it I again like I never really skated these shoes yeah I mean that yeah. I mean it when you saw those dudes skating it you're, right. uh, you you wanted to skate like Mark Johnson you wanted to get those perfect example of what. I what shoes I was skating was the shoes that I saw until I started getting hooked up by like DVS and yeah. audio and then I was like you know I, the Hamiltons were my were my even the Bam shoes the Bam had this like one it was like a high top kind of a half cab shoe but it had the it had the uh, hardogram hardogram on the back oh wow mm-hmm. you were it was those? a purple I did I colored it in I painted it black <laughs> so you can't see it well you could see it if my pants lifted yeah. up a little bit you yeah. know in the footage but um. But the Hamiltons, yeah. like that was my shit. But he, you can't see it, but you know, eh, eh, we're having a hard time with this shit. There you go. Yeah. I, oh, I, that colorway. Okay. Yeah. That looks like a drawing. Bro. I had those. I got those at the sample sale. I used to go to, that's why I love being sample size still to this day, <laughs> is that you can get all the it's shoes. straight come up. Yeah. But I, those ones were sick. That's one right there. Um, DC had a lot of crazy good ones for anyone of my generation. I mean, the Rick Howards, the links were huge. Um, all those, I saw Tim kind of talk. He said it in the comments, Tim Olson, he was like, mm. the, the Howards and the Rudy Twos. Mm. They had a big DC logo on the side, mm-hmm. but I always liked the way they looked. Yeah, the DC Howards. Yeah, I mean, Damon Way commented, like, everything from DC plus S between 1996 and 2002. I think that shaped a lot of skateboarding right there. Massive amounts of skateboarders, yeah, too. for sure. <laughs> yeah, but... Um, they were the top. They were the top companies. Mm-hmm. They were the trendsetters. They were they? the trendsetters. Yeah. You know, when DVS came around later, it was the Chicos, Mayans, the Day One songs. Oh, first of all, the DC and DVS started the same, pretty much at the same time. It's 95, 95, 94, I mean, 95, 94. 95. That, they started, DBS no, did. DBS no. started ninety five, bro. Yes, sir. Well, I, I was in, yeah, it didn't start ninety four. <laughs> my timeline in skateboarding doesn't make any sense to me. Nah, I've graduated. It doesn't make any sense. Graduated high school in ninety five, bro. That I started skating out. in nineteen ninety one. How in the hell am I hanging out with Tim Gavin? Going to meetings? I was going to meetings with Tim in mm-hmm. Malibu. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when he lived with Coley and all those dudes, mm-hmm. he would go over. He'd be like, "Come with me. I got to go to mm-hmm. talk about this shoot thing." That I'm, how how how. how yeah, so that's how 94. is that possible that, that three years after I started skating, I'm, I'm with Tim Gavin? Mm-hmm. How is that possible? It happens. The, right my place, timeline does not make right sense. Right place at the right time. It doesn't make sense, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. S came around in 95. Etnies was way before. And uh, DVS took a while to kick in. To oh, no. D- the f- first of all, like yeah. the first shoes suck. They, <laughs> yeah. they, they Slims, were not good. Reds, yeah, they were not lights. good at all by any means. It took, it took them like a, maybe two oh, or three seasons yeah. to like really get going. Yeah, right. totally. Because then that's when, um, like, Barra and and Daywan, like, there was a few dudes that started getting on, like, you that was know, a little later, right? A little later, yeah. yeah. That 
things were you know improving. Yeah. But those shoes for it was the Mayan, the Chico Mayan, the Day One. They it might have been the twos or the threes. Day mm-hmm. it was like really a simple shoe, mm-hmm. and then um, the Huffs. My, the my, my, shoes sec- that I my second in. shoe was like really like dope. A lot of people like mm-hmm. on the team used to rock it for it, but it had a brief moment, and that was it. Yeah, it's hard to find online. We remember we looked for it. Oh yeah, online for what? The for two? Your, yeah, number two. The Maybe two. it wasn't as popular as I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> check his eBay page. No, no, check the eBay page, oh, yeah. man. I haven't sold none of the twos yet, but oh, these were it right here. Actually, I did sell some of those. No, oh, no those weren't no, it. Definitely not. It. Oh shit, that's okay. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My that's bad, my. Bad. I think my that bad. was a three. That's that was the, my worst <laughs> shoe. That was my worst shoe, up, dude. Yeah, I don't know how they were wearing those. Right those were rusted. They look. They didn't look right. They did not take care of their shoes. Uh, I'm trying to think what other shoes. I mean, Caps. Osiris D3. The D3. Dude, that, that's that an went, iconic shoe. It, yeah. It, that went heavy in a different way, obviously. In a whole different bunch of different lanes. At my like, school, all like the skaters that, or I'll say, people that did not skate, Raver, the Ravers, the Taggers. Girls, they were rocking. Yeah. Them. It transcended skateboarding. Oh, damn. Yeah. Another shoe that was like that as well, but wasn't obviously the the D three. But um, Raj, remember Kenny's shoe on audio? Yeah, he killed it. Killed it. Yeah. Saved audio, by the way. Yeah. But um, that shoe, I remember being uh, specifically being on tour, and we were in the van, and some dude was crossing the street, some like raver punk kid, or what was crossing the street, and Kenny's like, Kenny's like, look, 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 see that dude right there? And I'm like, yeah. What about him? He's like, that's those are the people who buy my shoe, and they, they had, he had on the Kenny Anderson oh, shoe. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Yeah. So it. Transcended skateboarding, right. like other. It was people. a great shoe. It did look. That was it. This, this was it right here. I never Hard had to see though. It, uh, it was a cool looking shoe, but it transcended. It was being sold everywhere, man. Crazy. People were buying the That's shit what, out. God, of skateboarding. All the people that didn't skate that bought these shoes really helped out skateboarding. Big time. Like the the industry and the, the people that with the DBS, companies with and DBS, the skaters, well, bro. Are th- you kidding me? I yeah. think that people. I think that a lot of skaters don't understand that concept. I know, right? They you don't. know, like the you get but like Kenny was stoked. DVS was stoked. Like yeah, like D like audio was gonna go out. Oh sorry, DVS audio was gonna go out of business, right, Raj? I mean, they were on the brink. They were hurting. That that shoe definitely uh, helped quite a bit. Right. Yeah. So you gotta like when stuff hits the mainstream like that, you almost gotta like embrace that because oh, sure. like that's. That's another and round. Th- that's another and thankful. That's that another round of paychecks. That's time. another round of like another year in business. That's like uh, that's huge, man. That's that could why, change your business dramatically. Well, that's why the Zoomies thing, I think, really gets uh, you know like under people's skins a little bit. But it's like mm-hmm. not no more. Like they, I think right. It's kind of like right. yeah, it's yeah. But it's like, dude, like, do you know how many companies Zoomies has saved? For sure, all like, day, bro. Yeah. Help supporting, yeah, some of your, your favorite brands. Oh my god! At the moment, in this time of need, let's just be honest, because shit is not kosher Dude. for anybody at the moment. Ooh, those are tight. There we go. I mean, there's some people that are, I'm sure, like you know, skimming along the water, but dude, right? Was that the stealth no shoe? Is that what that shoe was called? The top was a day one. I don't know what the bottom was. Uh, the bottom one's a stealth. Oh, yeah, that's like okay, stealth. sick. For sure. This is Daniel Castillo. I remember Chris. You would skate the top one. Yeah, yeah. That's the day one I was talking about. Yeah. That one was sick. Yeah. That's like you, and listen, you would skate that Oh one. my God. Yeah. Bro. So I did have shoes that I found that I loved, but again, like that's a double-edged sword because when you find something you love, like it gets discontinued, you know, there's only so much. I mean, I, only... back then too, shoes wouldn't last that long. They would change them up. Like, yeah. I feel like maybe a few shoes, but not the shoes that I skated in. Right. I mean, the shoes that, like for S especially, shoes that stick around for a while, that shows how good they are. For sure. Like, you have the Excel. It's been in the line forever, From the get-go. Yeah. Right. Uh, The Janoski, that thing, I mean, it took away for a little bit, but, like... Oh, they had to resurge it. Yeah. yeah. They they took it away for a quick second. That's the one shoe. I mean, obviously, the Dunk. Yeah. That's transcending. But that was never, like, initially from the get-go, was that a skate shoe? I mean, I don't never. I never knew I don't about Toy Later. I don't, I don't think it was. But maybe. I don't know. Skater made a skate shoe. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. T- Action has good had shoes, good yeah. shoes back then. T Killer, you're right though. The Circa Mark Appleyard for sure. Yep. Don't know what that was. I I, I feel like we had this conversation and Steezus had a different shoe. I, I I don't know. I remember. I forget what that was, but there was like either. original one that like the original Circa one, whatever that name was. And 
Appy Yard made a shoe similar to that I one. I had one. It was a one with bumps on the... It was yeah. this one right here. It was, JC is a powerhouse tonight. Hey, yeah. man, powerhouse. <laughs> a lot of powerhouse. Look, see the little, two little bumps on the side there? Mm -hmm. That was a... Uh, yeah. I like that shoe, bro. I don't even know how I got that shoe. I, I wasn't on flow for any of these companies, bro. Dude, I was skating so the courthouse. Weird. I you think, traded I think for my him, whole, You traded for him, You bro. think? Yeah. I think my whole career has been like a simulation. <laughs> I don't remember any. I don't remember any of this stuff. Dude. Yeah. I don't. I just remember skating in them. I remember I loved them. Maybe yeah. I hit up Cirque and asked them for. Some I mean, pairs. that's a lot of stuff to remember going into the store. Unless it was like super impactful in your life, dude. You have so many memories that are gonna push that right out. Right, dude. For sure. That's that's exactly what happened. I could have very well like have hit them up at that point in time mm -hmm. like i was a big pro at this point you know you were huge, pro, huge <laughs> kelly huge Damn. pro he was big in malibu yeah big. <laughs> ah, let's be i was big in my own mind okay i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know dubs yeah it's very strange very strange never know the answer man it's in here somewhere it's in there yeah huge i'm a big fan of all the old school shoes uh like Lakai was a big one coming in later. What about the DC Lynx? Uh, it's one of my favorites for sure. That I had like probably eight pairs of those ones before I got flow. That you know how cool that was for me to always be buying these shoes and then to get on these brands and oh, get them for free was insane. I remember because oh, I, I first got on DC um, through Robbie and and winning helped me out too that's actually where i meant my winning but i would get boxes of the links that's all i'd ask for and i get the aves too they, mm -hmm. they would just send them to me but the mantecas were good it was kind of like a excel ish type shoe for dc mm. um but man it was crazy to see how big those brands were back then like to go into the warehouses crazy. and stuff it was nuts yeah bro now they're a little smaller yeah a little, a little lil yeah uh, I, I do remember, we're bouncing all over the place here, but it's fine. It's fine. We're bouncing in and out of eras. Um, the, uh, oh man, it was just on the fucking screen, bro. Uh, never mind, carry on. I forgot. I like what Lakai did as well. I mean, the, the Manchester is super dope. I think that's still running in their line. Seems yeah. to be a staple yeah. of their of their company. Yeah. They, uh, what was the other one? Um, the Telford? The Telford too, Telford. for sure. But like they had some. Is that the high top one? What's the one that? Yeah, right. It's the high top. One. Yeah, that one's yeah. super dope. Yeah. I if you guys could go way. buy shoes right now, what would you go buy? Like if you went to a skate shop, what would you be looking for? Like um, like like what's currently out right what's now? What's currently out right now? Ooh. For a while there, this is what I was gonna say. I was skating the Adidas Adies shoe. When I would get, I, I, that's all I'd want the boxes from, from uh, boxes, and then they send me other shit, and I would just be like, nah, nah, nah. nah. The mm. ADEs were the were the dope ones. Damn. Uh, real quick, Raj, uh, uh, one second. But this is I don't know what this is from, dude. The, oh, skateboarder, Max. Skateboarder, like skateboarder, skateboarder, the ten yeah. best skate shoes of all times. You got the Converse Chuck Taylors, rocking those right now. Love those. Those mm -hmm. are the high tops, though. The Van Skate Highs, still see those, still in production. Cool. Mm -hmm. The lows and the highs. Nike Air Jordans. I would skate if I got those like at full display, like where I could just get those on deck. I would skate that shoe. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the eighties, yeah. that's what the that, shoe. That's all. That, all they were skating in the eighties, right? Airwalk Enigmas. Love those. Never, never. I, I did. Maybe I had a pair I of those. I cut those down too. No, oh, did right. I cut those down? Uh, I'm the, not sure. I don't remember. The Vans Half Cab. There you go. All day. All yeah, day. Same. Roger's still. That's he's. You love. I rocked the shell toe for a minute too. Shell dude. toes are hard, dude. I did, bro. I never had a pair, but they always look fresh. As Richard well. Angelitas. Yeah. I Richard. always think of him when I think of the shell toe. Joey like, Bast. And, and days. And Drake Jones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He would skate in them too. Drake Jones. Yeah. Uh, Etnies S Sal twenty threes. We just discussed those. Duff's Casey K's. Those are. Those were really good. Definitely. So funny, man. I I get that confused with the uh, action. Right. I just think of when I think of Casey K, I think of action for some reason. Well, because he did bring those to action. He did it, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. same okay. silhouette, that's right? Yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. There it is. The Costin one. Boom. And then the DC Howard. Yeah. Which yeah. that was supposed to be an issue, and he brought that over to DC. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Yeah, I literally saw the drawings. Yeah. That's crazy. Literally issue. Yeah. And then just yep, brought it over. He's mm -hmm. like, "Can I get that?" And they're like, "No problem, Rick." <laughs> I would. I think <laughs> I would. I did see that Etnies is bringing back the 23s. It's funny because we did it for S. Think it was a 20, 
it's, I've never, uh, first time I've ever heard of like a shoe getting brought back retro from different brands off and on. Mm -hmm. But uh, they're doing that later this year for Wasau. And it looks like they're really good at like perfecting the shape of it. Mm. I think know? the Etnies ones were better than the S. You think? I never had the Etnies, but I did. The S ones were, I think the S ones looked a little more like high techer. Yeah, they tried to add a little bells and whistles to it. And yeah. It just made it puffier. At, okay. Because the, the tongue looked slimmer on the Etnies. That that makes sense, or like the tag yeah. on it looked different too yeah. on the tongue. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said, never had a pair, but you could. The cool thing is you could look at them and differentiate them. Right. Um, the I did skate the. I was slow for action at first, and when Kareem brought those over there, and I, I would skate the KCKs. He had the navy gum, black gum, and the white all white ones, and I have my some of my sponsor me footage in that shoe, but. The black and the navy ones, the grip, it was so slick. The gum was so slick on the grip tape, I couldn't skate them. Wow. Like, could not do it. I was don't it know. clear? N what, I feel like the gum. No, no, it wasn't. No. Usually yeah. the clear stuff's really grippy. For I don't like reason. it. Man, uh, I, I remember skating some clear ones and not being stoked. Uh, yeah, I just, Maybe different formula. Who knows? But the white ones were all good. Huh. And so a lot of my early sponsor me tape footage uh, was all in the white KCKs. But wow. that was the later ones, but um, a lot of yeah, a lot of footage like trilogy and was there footage in Mouse? You guys, did you guys ever skate in? I, I always thought Keenan Mouse. switched up the table in those, but he guess he was wearing the Jason Lee Airwalks. Yep. Mm, yeah. yeah. Damn, that's so crazy. He was wearing those. To answer your question, Raj, I think if I went into a skate shop now to buy shoes, I think I mean I'm just feeling these uh, Converse Chuck Taylors right now. Yeah. So I I, mm. I think I'd get get those. Hmm. Dubs. Um, man. I mean, we don't even know. Uh, I don't know. I like the uh, those New Balance I'm just skating in right now. What's the dude's name that just, uh, it looks like a... 440s? Not, is it the 440? The ones you always wear here? No. Are they mid-tops? The ones that I was wearing skating the other day when we were out skating. Um, it just, the shoe just came out. What's his name, dude? Who just had a shoe that just came Tom out? Tom Knox? Tom Knox. The oh, Tom okay. Knox. Is, yes. Joe King, thank you. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah, so I'll probably rock those. Those actually skate really good. Um, Kelly? So I'm going to have to go with two different answers on this because I work for a one, so I'm going to have to Real say... Real quick, though, this is it, Dubs? Ooh, yeah, the... That's it? Yes. The Tom Knox That's a different, yeah. That's okay, a different okay, colorway. Okay. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, those wait. Are super dope. These ones. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's those a different one too. That looked different. different, but yeah, because it's, it's, it had a green on it. But that was the first okay. one. But this is the same shoe, gotcha. essentially. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. It's a different colorway. Go ahead. Sorry, Kelly. I was just. Uh, I would pick up. Uh, probably the Swift One Point Five from S. But if I had to choose something outside of S, because I, 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 I obviously I work for. Them. I want to promote the brand, but I don't want to be so like that all the time. The Tiago shoe. I'd like to. I've never even skated it at all. Mm -hmm. But I think the second one. Yeah, there's a new colorway too. I don't. I'm such got a colorways for days with that. Bro, shoe, I'm right. such a fan of the blue, blue, like navy, white. Yeah, and like maybe throw some yellow or orange. You know, I don't know yeah. what. The, but uh, the Tiago. I would be stoked on that. Either one, the first or the second one, looked good to me. Mm -hmm. um, it just looked like a silhouette, kind of like what I'm what I'm used to now. Mm -hmm. Like a little uh, some padding, a little thicker, not too puffy. But it look, I look down and I'm happy what I see. Right. So, um, other shoe that we didn't talk about uh, that was a big thing later on that I wrote was a LD shoe, the three one point five. Yeah. Yep. A lot of people like that one. Yeah, that was a, a big hit. Yes, HSB is uh, Nike is robbing all their riders with just a colorway. That's low key slap in the face. Shit isn't hard for them to change colors on a dunk. Yeah, but. HBS, look around. Every every uh, all the companies are doing that right now. If you got a pro shoe right now, like good yeah. lord, you are a you are a lucky SLB especially, man. Especially from like a big dog company, you know. Bro, even the little guys, like who's got a pro shoe on, like Etnies and S. Jocelyn, okay, one. No one has one on S. There you go. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It, it's a different time yeah. right now. Yeah. Like they they. Getting a pro shoe is not what it used to be, man. For sure. Like, that's a, like, you got the Janoski. Like, Shane O'Neal. Where, where's his pro shoe? Yeah. yeah. You know he, what I mean? He ain't got a shoe no He more. had it. Bro. Yeah. But, but it was just like the Janoski. Mm -hmm. It wasn't yeah. like a Shane O'Neal. Like, it was, 
how, you, 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 that's hard. You, how long did did they take away the Janowski? It's back now. No, I know but it's back, but how long was it? Gone not for? that long. Two years. A couple years. A couple right? years. Yeah. Maybe. So in that duration, when that, um, oh my God, why is this? Why am I like name? She just named. It, you just said his name. That shoe is. It looked the same. Shane. Shane. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly they were letting that same. shine for a second. Yeah. To it had kind like of a like, thicker sole. Yeah. Bug, but well, I don't know. It was weird, dude. But that's what he wanted. Yeah. So that's, yeah, yeah. He, that's what he got. Yeah. Dude. But um, it's hard. Yeah. Nowadays, the, bro. If you got a colorway in a dunk, are you kidding me? I'd take that all day. Dude, the, 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 distri all day. the distribution they have for that is insane. I always laughed at the number when I talked about P Rod shoes. It only made like whatever thousands, whatever. I was like, that's kind of a lot, dude. Uh, yeah. If you okay, if you got a dunk out, let's say made they made ten thousand. And you're getting two dollars. Is that what how much you get? Two bucks? Something like that. Maybe it depends on the. Maybe uh, it contract, depends on right? it is, but most of it's two dollars. They do shoes. get paid for the colorway. Yeah, right. they oh. get paid royalty. Yep. You better. Are you get twenty k. Sure. I'll take that all day. I'll take twenty k all day. And you just have actually, I'd be interested to know if they get if they get that because maybe it's an honor for them to get a dunk. Right. Some some people have that type of uh, mm, like, maybe. hey, we'll give you a dunk. We're not going to pay you at all, but you're getting a dunk. Yeah, that's, I don't know I don't if that, know that works happen. like that. I don't know. I don't we know don't. Works like that, but. We don't know that whole. That Nike shit is budget. Thing. I think. Yeah. You know, but whatever. What? Well, no, no. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. If you're on Nike, you're getting paid. Yes. Was... <laughs> you're not just getting a colorway. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's a part. <clears throat> if you're of it. on flow but I think you for Nike, get that on top, like as well. Right. Right. If you're on flow for Nike, you probably get some maybe photo incentives. You got a travel budget, probably. Yeah. You know, you may not be getting a check, but you get little perks and stuff yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. And they hook it up too, like with shoes. Right. You're like every every time you call, or I don't know if it's like they send it to you, you go online and do your thing. I have thing. no idea. Yeah, you probably get a little, maybe you get a little car. I, I think they get, do yes. Yeah. You get a budget and you could go online and order your stuff. Right. When I would hit up Scuba, uh, when I was flow, when S took a hiatus, dude, I would get like, 10 to 15 pairs a month. They're yeah. very generous when they send shoes. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Shout out to all of them that definitely have sent us some shoes in the past. Thank man. you for Straight up. the support, man. It's crazy. All yeah. day. Um, and then, hey, you know, you would have to make your ways and you would sell half of them. And, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, all of them are not going to work out. Yeah. I'm not going to wear 15 pairs of shoes in one month. No. No. I do. Yeah, I wear a lot. <laughs> wear or a lot I'll give shoes. some to some, some, you know, some people. Oh, give a homie. You, you, yeah. you get a homie some. A shot as a pro shoe, Andy Anderson. Yeah, people do have pro shoes for sure. But if you take a little step back and look at all these companies that used to, yeah. like, bro, like how many pro shoes at DVS? That's have what I was at just about to say. Time, I think probably there's like seven or eight dudes that had shoes. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, everybody. You, it wasn't not that it wasn't special, mm -hmm. but it was just like it was part of the it was part of the deal. Totally. You know. You but could, all you guys that were had pro shoes were all on girl chocolate, real alien. Like, and it wasn't like this vast board brand thing going on now. Yeah. Does that make sense? I'll let you no, know this. Sense. More than 50% of the people on the team had pro shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But also the the the, the market wasn't like fluctuated with skaters. I'm know? just saying that yeah. this, look at compared then back, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. nowadays. Like, yeah, people still have pro shoes, but it's few and far between. Yeah, it was like, Definitely. Andy Anderson deserves a pro shoe on yeah. Etnies. Yes. 1,000%. Yes. Well, it's like you look at S. It's like Costin, Burn, everyone on Bro. that team was eight people, all all stars, all deserve it. Yeah, all they and all, they all had shoes too, right? I I want to say it, like Krieger, Muska, Costin, Penny, yeah, Krieger, or uh, Bicrank, more than fifty percent pro shoes. Almost everyone in Arto, so, everyone yeah. had a shoe, but they were like yeah. it was a complete all star. I mean, you Rodrigo. Rodrigo had shoes yeah. later on. Uh, LD. LD had yep. shoes. Yeah, I mean, dude. Danny Garcia. Dude. Yeah. It was a different yeah. time. For sure. And I, it's not that don't... Dude, if you're selling shoes, hell yeah, we want to pay you because you're selling shoes. But if... the It's the landscape, it's the landscape. of the time and yeah. era and period. Look at the landscape we're in right now, man. It is not good. No. For money wise and, and making a living in skateboarding, you know? The whether, only ones that really seem to be doing in it, or pros. The only ones that really seem to be doing it at the moment, like from a big dog standpoint, is New Balance that mm. I'm seeing. Okay. That makes it seems like they're doing really decent in the times that we're in at the moment. Sure. Well, they don't the with Jamie, Tiago, and Tom. 
Knox. Those are the only three pro models they have. Westgate. Uh, Westgate. Oh, Westgate, sorry. Those are the only four? Unless I'm forgetting something else? I don't Which know. Which is nuts because they have a lot it. of people on their team. For There's sure. a lot of colorways, too. A lot of colorways. Yeah. A lot of colorways. Yeah. yeah. They did the cool thing. Listen, is, at the end of the day, dude, let's be honest right now. And, right and now. Frankie Villani. Frankie Villani. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right now, uh, the landscape that we're in. If you have, I mean, that, that's why that's why I think a lot of these shoe companies do the colorways is because like they want to pay the riders, they want to give them a good check. A good way to do that is like, hey, here's a colorway. We're going to give you some royalties from that, right? Yeah, it's a win-win for both. It's a win-win for the company, and it's a win-win for the the rider. Totally. You, they, you're not getting a pro shoe, but you're getting money from the sales of a shoe that you picked colors from, yeah. like. If you don't want that, you're, tr you're, you're this in this landscape. You're tripping. And there's a whole campaign around you, right? Like, yeah. For but those sure. are the for reason sure. that that reason alone is why those shoes are more expensive, because they have to pay the rider. Cool. It, like, cool. Like, Listen, so, so people have to know that. But vote with your dollars, man. Yeah. You know, like you want to support the boys, then support them. You know, buy buy their shit. Yeah. Financial analyst analyst C Roberts. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> come come at me, bro. <laughs> um. But it's just the way that it is. Yeah, uh, America had a lot is, of good man. shoes back then. Um, Different times, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'll, take a, I'll take a colorway all day long. All day. Oh, what shoe? All day. Yeah, what day? What shoe? Oh, good oh, question. A colorway. What, what is the take? best? A shoe, what about a right shoe now? Sponsor? What's it? <laughs> that alone colorway. I don't care. I don't care about shoe sponsor, man. I'll take, I'll take a colorway. Right? <laughs> what is the best? Start talking what is the best? Hey, I want a colorway, man. <laughs> What is the best selling shoe right now? I wish we had that. I wish we had those analytics. Where's that data? I would. What would you think? I it's would had me made a Tiago. Oh, a dunk. A dunk no. for sure. You think? Yeah. Okay. I would okay. say a dunk for. Yeah. Just don't Possibly. make a budget one. That's a bet. Like don't a, make a like panda, panda dunk. dunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll make a panda dunk. <laughs> Keep it basic. Oh, because it'll be in everybody's mouth forever, dude. Yeah. You know? Basic colorway. Yeah, my dunk. <laughs> Come on, make my, a colorway that everyone hands. likes. Everyone, no, nope, right, no. Nope. Everybody hates so the panda down. dunk. So, <laughs> all black like, shoe. Damn, that crab dunk is horrible. What did they do to him? Man, wipe your mouth, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if if that is the best selling shoe. I'll do. I'll do the dunk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we don't have those analytics. Psycho, so it, it probably would be. You know what I mean? You should tell Mackie to hook you up with some Converse deals, dude. I think that'd be a good fit. I'm trying to get in there, bro. I mean, you're wearing the shoes. I'm trying to get in there. You can't tell. What do you mean you can't tell? Right now? These are... <laughs> oh, right. What do you got? Put, put them like you're in a, the backseat of an airplane or whatever. Boom. Boom. Right there. Pay me. <laughs> <laughs> right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> pay yeah, him, dude. Pay, pay me, man. Scott, pay him, dude. Mackie, thank you for hooking him up. Yeah, right. Thank Cons, you. Bro. He's let's been get some, seriously. Let's get some, he's been really. I'll uh, do my. I'll, I'll do a colorway. Has, it, oh, has anybody done a colorway of a, a this? Chuck Taylor? It has they make to those be things in millions of colors. Yeah, like I a, know, a, but a, not a, a color, crop, not a crop color. Not your colorway, no. But there's probably has been some other people in the past that they probably have done colorways. But that's a pro. That's a shoe though. It's a Chuck Taylor. Yeah, yeah, that's not a part. That's not a part of the skate kit, is it? Yeah, the that's skate a, skate, a skate This is yeah, a skate shoe. Yeah, okay, cool. they put a different uh, insole. Insole? Yeah. Nice. Oh, and they beefed it up a little. I don't know. They did something to it. Maybe they made the walls a little thicker. But like the Jordan 1, you can't have a colorway on a Jordan 1. No, that had to be some super something super special that Jordan stamped on. Exactly. Well, Chuck Taylor probably like... Chuck has, Taylor stamped it? Well, I mean like... <laughs> is, Chuck, is Chuck alive? I don't know. Chuck's not I don't alive. know. But Chuck's not alive? No. Well, then somebody... I'm Listen, let's go. Yeah, you gotta talk to his family. Let's go. They stopped. He was telling me, yeah, I don't know. But I, I think you could do something with that. I like that shoe, too. Yeah, talk to the estate about that. Yeah. You got to go to a Dodger game with us. Me, me and Scott go. I love, I love Scott. Down. I just yeah. saw him the other day. The guys thing. Yeah. Yeah. I've been seeing him a lot lately. Oh, the One Stars, too. I, I do like the One Stars. Those old ones that came out when we were getting flow back then, those things were good. I, I don't just, know if those just, are the same uh, ones that they are. I always wanted a pair of those. Those are so those dope, Those are the original bro. ones. Those are the OGs. Look at these, bro. Wait, what? Yeah, those? like green suede, Ooh. Ooh. blue suede. But weren't they? Wasn't there a cup? It was a one cup sole. Yeah. it wasn't a a, mm. a Volk. No, man, this is my. This is my. They've always been Volk. 
Yeah. Am I tripping? Yeah. No, there was tripping. there was a cup soul one. Dude, there was a cup soul. Sure. I swear You're on tripping. everything. Oh, the, no, 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 on those ones that I had. It wasn't one stars. It was the one where it had the. I don't know what logo that is. It's like the, the other star and Chevron. Huh? The star and Chevron. The star with Bro, the, it was with a the thing on it. Yeah, yeah. With the that, thing on it. Yeah. It was like the pointy thing. I'm next to it, right? Yeah. That one. I'm pretty sure it was a cup was skated. I'm pretty sure it was a Keenan cup skated. They, they sent to, to all of us, like specifically. The one that Keenan did Switzerland back tail at Chafee? Yeah. He's skating in like the Navy ones. Cup so. Yeah, cup yes. so ones. Yes. Yeah, but, basically the Dr. J Lowe's. Okay, that's what that's what it was. Dr. J, that's right. That's what I it think was. they call them like superstars, though. Maybe that's you might be right, but whatever they were, they were low top, they were suede, and they had that star on them. Didn't they bring those back? Didn't the first I don't second? think they ever left. Yeah, they they they're, they're around. Those ones, man. Let's I want. See. They need. To, I need to see those again and, and see yeah. if it's the same. Because yeah, JC, right there. Uh, fast break. This isn't it though. No. That's not it. Yeah. But it's the Chevron. This is this is the logo that we're what we're speaking of. Yes. right now that. It's that but that's not wall, the shoe. That's the, not that the logo. Shoe. Yeah, the mm -hmm. shoe is just like the con is a, just like the one star, mm -hmm. but with that thing on it. Yeah, yeah, Howard rocked them back in the day. And uh, guy, yeah, guy, I rocked them all guy, the time. They, they sent him the girl, I believe, and we just grabbed a few pairs. Didn't, they, didn't he switch back tail the the rail in those in those ones? I Maybe. think so. Uh, yeah, in Canada. Yep. In Canada. Yeah, yeah. Do these smell? Am I tripping? What your your yeah. tea or your shoe? We're good. We're good. Right. Just making sure, man. What does it smell sure. like? I want to put this on display, dude. I want to. I'm trying to get sponsored. You're putting a bro. dirty shoe on the table. I'm trying to get sponsored. Do you respect wood, bro? Dude, this is what this dirt. This dirty ass shoe ain't gonna leave a ring on the table. Okay, this is true. Thank you, Congressman Holler. <laughs> um. Yeah, what do we got left? That's a, that was a good conversation. I like that. That was fun. <laughs> I just, you know, listen. I just, oh, is this it right here? Oh, no, 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 that's not it. Shit, my bad. Oh, because they, they make, like, even the Louis Lopez right now, they make with that, uh, the little Chevron. Mm -hmm. Can you type in Dr. J's? It was probably just a one-off, and they made samples, dude, and they never came out. I don't know. Can you t type Dr. J? Isn't that the shoe? That's what it was. I don't know. Maybe GC's going to look for it right now. The crop star. Yeah, perfect. That's what Shave 5969 says. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hmm. They have to have that online. That's like an iconic shoe. It is. But yeah, no, it's not high top. It's just. But what can you. Oh, no. Like a low top I one? I don't know. <laughs> that one in the towel right there. Is it a Dr. Gosh, J? Ever... They could be called the Leather Pro. I wish I still leather had that thing. Leather Pro? But they weren't leather, though. Oh, right there. Oh. Oh. Let's see. No, those are disgusting. Here, look at these. That's him right there? Yeah, right there. Let's see. Pop that up, JC. Pop it up. <laughs> That's it. Yep. Boom. Yep. That's it. <laughs> He was just out. Like, He's out. I'm out of here. Stage left. That's it. That's the one. Those He's are out. That was the one. The Chev Crab. They don't have those anymore, right? Like the skate ones, I mean. Dude, they should. Because uh, they don't really have too many cup. I mean, the Alexis shoes of Volk. Or, I'm sorry, a cup. Alexis Blown. Yeah, she's yeah. got a shoe out. Church it looks church. good, too. That was the one, dude. Mm -hmm. I missed that shoe. This is a um, This is a cup. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> I skated the one the, stars yeah. had the Volk. The one Roger, stars were Volk. Yeah, yes. these ones were the ones we were yes. mentioning. Right. Okay. And, and those had like a really shallow cup sold on them. Yeah. They were, it was perfect, bro. It was a good shoe at that time. I never had a pair. I always wanted them. Early 90s. But I couldn't find them in a skate shop. Yeah, no. but they're not making these right now. Maybe they're on. Maybe they're not. They should make these again. Dude, I agree. 100%. Real talk. You know what's funny is when I was a team manager for Converse, I used to send Bobby Puglio those shoes all the time. Ooh. And my boss would get mad at me because... Um, we, I, he wasn't pushing the shoes that they were trying to sell at the moment. Hmm. Uh, I like, remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, Bobby just wants to skate these things. I'm like, I'm gonna send them to him. Good job, Rob. Uh, That's funny though when Raj. people don't even, if the companies don't listen to what the skateboarders are saying. It happens a lot, man. Straight Not up. it doesn't happen as much. Oh, it happens a lot. Kenny and everyone were telling them to make a skateable chuck forever, and they wouldn't wouldn't do it. Yeah. 
And then they're like, <laughs> oh. But that's what, you know what's it's funny is like with New Balance, they're like, they're embracing. They listen. Yeah, they're listening. All day. The upper, the, the big guys or whoever, are li- like they're bringing back, what are the 440, whatever those other shoes they're doing, those are all shoes in the line yeah, from way back. Yeah, they're old archives and yeah. they're letting them like dig in the crates. Mm. So dope. You know and what's like, crazy? Like Kenny wanted the, uh, the, the truck tailor and then when it came time to develop his shoe, he got a shoe within a shoe. Like his shoe was so technical, it was insane. Uh, mm. Oh yeah, yeah. But that was a weird time. They were having helium in their shoes and weird oh, yeah, shit like that. They were pushing that. the technology big time. Yeah. For sure. Everyone wants to do that. Like every, like all these brands want to like just oh we want to make the next. Like, where are you gonna go, dude? Yeah, you ain't mm. changing the game. The shit has been done. Yeah. But, I mean, I mean, we we we'll see. But I mean, like everyone's tried and tried, and some of the shit just don't hit. You know, it just they try and yeah. you know and then they charge like $130 for the shoe and I was like that's why they want to try because they can charge more for it yeah but the, but it costs more to make yeah yeah. so it's you're just shoe. like you're just yeah I'm just I don't know traditional skate shoes should not be over no $100 period they should be when straddling is, right under there dude. the last skate shoe that changed the game was the most simplest shoe possible in that Stefan shoe yeah what is that what's the price point in it uh, I would say it's probably like 80 or 70, 70 80 or 80 bucks. bucks. Okay, perfect. But they all wanted to go so gnarly and get the next tech thing. Yeah. But they made the most simple thing possible and changed the game. And shout out to Stefan, man. Yeah. Straight up. Does when I worked it? at Converse, Converse wanted to make a shoe that was like indestructible. Yeah. That's you better a, sell that for like $1,000 then because yeah. you're not going to sell, you're not going to keep reselling those things. No. Like Nike tried doing that, right? With that one shoe. I forget what it was called. It was like this crazy thick rubber shoe. In the, in the, oh, I remember that one. Yeah, it had like, all, yeah, it had the like, like it was little, the whole, yeah, little whatever. dots on it or whatever. Was that early on? It was the early, yeah, the Zoom trays. Yeah, Zoom, Zoom trays. trays. Call yeah. Big Cat. Uh, but yeah, I'm like, dude, I just want a shoe. That I mean, I guess I was not paying for it at that point. Yeah, Zoom. Zoom that shoot. Zoom shit didn't really catch on. Yeah. Right. The what chode. Up? Yeah, open it up, dude. How come we? Yeah. How come it's hard to open these things it's, it's up? It's better to drop in the desktop and open in preview. No. Oh, yeah. See, those ones. I remember Reese different. would skate those. Ones. And that's like the same year. They would be like, all right, we want, like, we want you to skate these ones. Yeah. And so they send those to everyone. They're like, those Fuck. hideous things. Yeah. Those are pretty crazy. I mean, it's a good Lord. effort, though. Really good effort. But it didn't. <laughs> no. It didn't that, hit. That, that that is, you get your yeah. money's worth, though. If you're a kid. Horrible. How much are these again? Do right you know? No, were they when oh, they first came out? Uh, they're probably over hundred bucks. Yeah, they're probably in the hundred yeah. range. I mean, it's all tech down for sure. Good lord! I heard Super would skate those, right? Yep. But yeah, the, those they, would last though. It seems like they would last a little longer. When they did that, and they had those dudes, it, it was taking skaters, or yeah, a long time to accept Nike in at that point. Right. When, this is when they kind of did it. Yeah. But at first, it was still like, whoa, this is weird. Right. And then they started making, like, uh, I think it was just more of the dunks that yeah, they brought the in that, that, that fucking did it. Yeah. And they got P-Rod, and fucking that helped. Oh, big time. You get P-Rod, it's, you know, <laughs> it helped you tremendously. Mean? Oh, God. Looks like a Rodrigo DX. Yeah, let me get off of here, bro. I'm going to fucking <laughs> throw up. Uh, yeah, a lot of shoes. I mean, we'll never answer the question, what's the best skate shoe of all time? It's all subjective. It's era-based. Yeah, yep. I'm going with the cost of one. That is my favorite shoe of all time. The S even cost though I never one. skated. Because there was yeah, the cost yeah, yeah. in two, a cost in one of the Nike one too. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I think for me, that's the most iconic skate shoe of all time. Yep. The cost of one. That's just me. Dubs, you have one? If you had to nail it down to one. By the way, my foot's getting a little chilly. I'm going to put the, my shoe, shoe back, back on. on. Converse, yeah. holler at me, man. That's some good product placement. I'm going to send you an invoice. Um,. I'm just gonna go with my shoe, the two. Oh shit! Okay, yeah. there you go. Taking a page out of my book, man. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that, and hopefully, maybe we can <laughs> generate a, a, re, a, a retro <laughs> comeback. Re-issue? Trying to get yeah. back on DBS. Yeah. Ooh, damn! I, you, know, yeah. I, you said it. You Lutzka, and then come, let's go. <laughs> if the hey. phone rang tomorrow, would you uh, pick up the phone call? Of course. I'll you always it. answer the phone, right? Always yeah. take. Let me see the what you're talking about. Let always you take the yeah. meeting, man. Yeah. Let always. me see what you're talking about. ATM. Always take the meeting? Yeah. Stands for something else, too. But yeah, always take the meeting, though. <laughs> always take the meeting. Dubs. 
Yes. So yeah, I'll go with my shoe. Okay. Go ahead. Excel S Excel, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best right now to actually make it like the way it was. Because I have a sample right now, and I'm super happy with it. But there's minor changes, and my foot's like super crammed in it right now. Mm-hmm. So I didn't want to wear them yet. So I'm gonna fix these little things with it. But it looks, to me, it looks beautiful. And I, you're not gonna be, see like they're big, but they're not. You're not like, whoa, those are crazy. Right. They look. Just for like now, the, they look good. They look soft like, rubber, huh? That's softer rubber. Um, right now I have some uh, like leather ones, and I feel like leather feels a little tighter. You know, like the the suede I ones I have, the all black ones are like a little looser. They loosen up a they little lo- bit, yeah. real easily to loosen up. So, yeah. um, I'm trying to work on the the taking out a little bit of the the puff in the tongue, and then kind of fix some things. I already had a little meeting with my friend about Sick. it. Anyways, that's my growing up. That was. In my uh, junior, no, high school days and getting spawned, like when I was on S, that was my favorite shoe. Amazing. So It's pretty sick that you're able to be a part of the process of bringing it back. Yeah, after like saying it for nine, ten years now, you need to just make it the way you used to. Yeah. And finally, That's thank nice. you, Charlie, and everyone there, so, and Don. Um, Good stuff. Yep. Yep. Worst guy's falling asleep, man. Go, go, uh, go to bed, man. <laughs> go to bed. That's a new one. Yeah. Go wipe your mouth or go to bed. Go, wipe your, go to bed. Yeah. You're tired. Go to bed. Hey, why don't go, you go, go take a nap, man. Go take a nap, man. <laughs> go take a nap, man.